Back when Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle was first announced, I talked about my favorite Persona themed colors in Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend. While I was enjoying Cross Tag Battle's open demo, I decided to talk about my favorite Blaze Blue themed colors in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. So, naturally, there was one other topic I knew I'd eventually want to discuss. I was just saving it for a special occasion. Well, now that we've got more Persona fighting game action on the horizon, I think it's time I finally talk about my top 10 Persona characters in Persona fighting games. Which, to be clear, actually means my top 10 Persona themed color palettes in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Oh, and also I'm including Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle because they added some new color palettes there that I want to talk about, okay. But that's not a catchy title. The only real qualifier here is while they are Persona-themed color palettes, I'm not including any of the number 26 colors from Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, because those were Famitsu Magazine exclusives and I don't have them. For what it's worth though, the only one that might have made my list anyway is Chie as Marie. As always, before I get started, here is a heads up that this list will contain spoilers for the Persona series, so watch at your own risk. Alright, but enough dilly-dallying, let's act like we're in kindergarten again and talk about some colors. Back when I talked about Persona-themed colors in Blaze Blue, I started things off with Ragna the Blood Edge as Yuna Rukami. When I talked about Blaze Blue colors in Persona, I started the list with Yuna Rukami as Ragna the Blood Edge. So, hey, now that I'm talking about Persona colors in Persona, Let's stick with what works and start things off with Yu Narukami and Izanagi as Makoto Yuki and Orpheus. While Yu himself doesn't really look all that special, pretty much just getting blue hair, the mainly white body with teal and reds looks awesome with Izanagi. I guess I could also mention Yu and Izanagi have a Ren Amamiya and Arsene combo in Cross Tag Battle, but... I don't think it's as good. Arsene Izanagi just kind of looks like a worse Magatsu Izanagi. I should leave them be. You. Wait. It's pretty common for the mascots to have mascot color schemes. Teddy has a Koromaru color, Koromaru has a Teddy color, Teddy has a Jack Frost color, but my favorite of them all is Teddy and Kintoki Doji have a Morgana and Zoro color. I don't know why, but everything about this works for me in the most hilarious way. From the yellow buttons, to the little white feet, to those giant blue eyes, Teddy makes the best Morgana. <coughs> Naoto. <coughs> Excuse me. However, I'm keeping it further from the top spot because I don't think Kintoki Doji makes the best Zoro. I feel like they could have matched the colors a bit better there. Don't fall in love with me now! Teddy! Let's tank! Win! Speaking of the Persona 5 colors in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, they definitely gave us a few odd choices. I mean, Akihiko as Futaba? I mean, sure, I guess. Someone had to have it. But one that I think works really well on multiple levels is Mitsuru Kirijo and Artemisia as Haru Okumura and Milady. Artemisia already has a similar aesthetic to Milady and the colors work really well for her. While Mitsuru's jacket definitely gives her a familiar aura of floofiness we've all come to expect from Haru. How fragile. Mitsuru, Aegis, win! As one of the seven people that actually seems to like Metis, I like seeing her get acknowledged. I mean, she didn't even get to be in Dancing in Moonlight. Oh, that's not what I meant and you know it. But a really good reference is definitely seeing Aegis and Athena acknowledging Metis and Psyche. I don't play as Aegis very often, but I'll confess that this is probably my go-to palette for her. She makes a good Metis, and Athena definitely looks awesome here. Don't worry. They were set to stun. Just in terms of its theming and how it ties to the character, I love the very idea of the Margaret selection, which consists of Kukulin, Yoshitsune, and Arda. 
A gal like Margaret definitely has a type when it comes to the personas she chooses to wield, and for me, one of the few things better than seeing these personas together is seeing them together in the white and red uniform that resembles Callisto from Persona 2. Margaret herself looks great as Ulala Serizawa, with the red hair and skin-tight green and black dress helping her resemble the iconic character. Like I alluded to at the start of this section, it's just a very well put together theme. This is the highest form of respect for me. Margaret. I've said before that Minazuki is my main when I play Ultimax, and it's not hard to see why. It's basically the same reason why Labrys was my main in the first arena. I am a sucker for new characters, especially when they have a new persona. I've also said before that Tsukiyomi is one of my top 10 personas ever. So yeah, Minazuki and Tsukiyomi having a color palette of Reiji Kido and Bress is definitely gonna make this list. An interesting note is this makes him the only character to have a color palette where both the persona and user reference a party member from Persona 1 specifically. Junpei has a Hidehiko and Nemine color, but it's based on his Persona 2 design. Anyway, yeah, Minazuki as Reiji makes it right in the middle of this list because it just works. Rejoice, you will be released from suffering. Minazuki! Wait. Perfect. Have I ever mentioned before that I like Labrys? I think I have, but just in case you didn't know, I like Labrys. Labrys does have a pretty cool palette where she sports Igus's uniform, and Ariadne does look great as Palladian. But that's not who gets this spot. My favorite persona color for Labrys is without a doubt seeing her as Kotoni Shiomi, aka the female protagonist from Persona 3 Portable. This is just a great look for her, and someone out there must love this palette as much as I do because this one even managed to get its own figurine. Honestly, if they'd just gone the extra mile to have Ariadne with female Orpheus colors, this would have been a strong contender for my number one spot, but sadly, it does lose a few points in that category. How much longer do I gotta do this? That would Alright, this one is super simple. Kanemata and Kalanemi as Jun Kanzato and Seth from Persona Trinity Soul. I love Trinity Soul. I did a year-long series of videos on this anime, and seeing Jun referenced here makes me smile. This, as far as I know, is the only time Trinity Soul has been acknowledged in any of the games. So yeah, I love it for that, if nothing else. Oh yeah, and Koromaru is pretty cute as the fox, I guess. <laughs> There is a reason you need to get stronger. Back when I was talking about persona colors on Blaze Blue characters, one that I said just looked really good was Rachel Alucard as Chidori Yoshino. One in persona that looks really good is Yukiko Amagi as Chidori Yoshino. And this one has the added bonus of Konohana Sakia just rocking those Medea colors on top of it. I love this particular color palette so much that I actually tried to learn how to properly use Yukiko just so I'd have an excuse to use it more often. This is easily one of my all-time favorites, and if I'd done this video back when I did the others, it would have been my number one pick without hesitation. But a certain late edition managed to come out on top for me, and I think some of you know where this is going. To bloom and then fall is their fate. Back when we first saw that Naoto and Sukona Hikuna were given Morgana and Zoro colors in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, I was pretty disappointed. Not only did it seem obvious that Teddy should get the Morgana colors, though to be fair, he wasn't in the game at that time, it felt equally obvious that Naoto, the Detective Prince Shirogane, should have gotten the colors of Goro Akechi, who inherited her old moniker in Persona 5. But then in late 2019, one of the last major updates the game ever got brought the character Torodachi into the fray, and naturally the antagonistic detective of Persona 4 was given the colors of the antagonistic detective of Persona 5. Toru Adachi and Magatsu Izanagi as Goro Akechi and Robin Hood works for me on so many levels, 
and it just looks amazing. I love seeing these two characters blended together like this. It is a little funny because Adachi was also my number one on my last video. I guess they just know how to give this guy some quality color palettes. <laughs> you were so close. Too bad. Adachi, you win. All right, and there you have it, my top 10 Persona-themed colors in Persona fighting games. I'm glad I had a chance to finally discuss this topic, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting Ultimax on modern consoles. They say it's coming with all the DLC included, so maybe we're getting those Fimitsu colors after all. The game comes out on March 17th of next year, and I will see you all there as I try my best not to embarrass myself as Reiji Minazaki. What are some of your favorite Persona-themed colors in the Persona fighting games, and which console are you going to grab Ultimax for next year? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, take care.